We just sublimated on these black t-shirts using two techniques. I use bleach and sublimation. And I use Caesar's Easy Subly. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're back in black with some dark t-shirt and sublimation. We're gonna try two ways to sublimate on dark or black t-shirts. Yeah, we were gonna do a wood round shelf video, which I still wanna do, but we've had to furlough pockets on Brad because of the price of wood. We'll miss them, they'll be back. Yeah, we looked at this four by eight sheet of plywood and this is the price, oh my God. $88, are you kidding me? So we have had to put that project on hold and we will continue some new sublimation techniques that we wanted to try anyway. I'm gonna try using bleach, but keep it very centralized and then sublimate on it. And I'm gonna use the Caesar Easy Subly HTV and Mass product. So we haven't tried this yet, but I saw some reviews online. I think it's a great, it looks like it's gonna work really well. And looks like it's gonna be a great option. Now, the thing about the two options, this one's more expensive. Mine's cheaper. But this one's super easy. Mine doesn't seem as easy, but it's gonna be cool. <laughs> so let's get started. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. For mine, I just needed a sublimation printer, a heat press, some dark t-shirts. I have these Bella Canvas Heather t-shirts. They're 50% cotton, or 52% cotton, 48% polyester. I think they'll work. Then I'm gonna need some bleach to bleach it, some peroxide to stop the bleaching, some sublimation paper, and because I'm using bleach and stuff, some gloves, some vinyl, some high heat tape, and some like butcher paper. I might need a little more than Kim does. <laughs> and so for mine, I need this Caesar HTV Easy Subly Kit. It's HTV and the mask and uh, a dark t-shirt. Oh, and a sublimation printer and a heat press. Yes, yes. And these two things. <laughs> okay. But, but that's it. <laughs> that's it. T-shirt number one, a step two. This is actually going to be my t-shirt. This is going to be the bleach, then sublimation. It's going to be a little harder, but it's going to look so awesome. <laughs> I'm, I got big plans for this t-shirt. He does. So I need my sublimation paper and some vinyl. I'm going to do my print then cut using the Cricut. And then I'm going to do just oh, a basic cut. Oh, we're going to add Cricut into our supply list. Oh, yeah. And you need and, the Cricut. And you need a Cricut. <laughs> <laughs> image. This was so easy to weed. It weeded itself, peeling it off the mat. I mirrored it. And then I tried to get this piece, you can't see it, as close to the center as possible, trying to leave as much of the vinyl around the edge as I can so that I have plenty of room for overspray. Step three, now we're gonna bleach. I don't know why this is the motion for bleaching. We're gonna bleach the area that we wanna sublimate. So we have our vinyl already. We're gonna put this folded up large pizza box. It's unused, it's not used. It doesn't have any pizza grease in it. It's, <laughs> it's a clean pizza box. We're gonna put it inside the shirt. I guess you could use a dirty pizza box. I wouldn't. You just smell like pizza when you're done. We use these pizza boxes for shipping uh, over the holidays, and guess what? They uh, sucked. <laughs> yeah, they were not a good option for us. Uh, with this MDF, they would get crushed. Every, I mean, so many people responded that they had issues with their packaging, but we've since fixed it, and now I mean, we get no issues with packaging. <laughs> I feel like the U USPS wouldn't treat a real pizza that way. So. I mean, yeah, a thing. They would crush that thing. All right. Now we're going to put our vinyl down. Should I press it at all? It looks pretty wrinkle-free. 
Yeah, we look good. We look good. Oh, you want to show me where my like where my hand would be? Like this far down? Yeah. All right. All right, Garrett has decided that four finger widths isn't far enough down for him. I got even a big chest. Even though I'm looking at these shirts and I'm telling you hold it on, is, hold but. Hold on, hold on. Oh no, don't ruin it now. All right, we're back in. I would suggest you use some transfer tape. Oh, this one's pretty easy. Let me hold the bottom. All right, I see about, we'll stop pulling the bottom. All right. That's where it's going, right? Looks good. Looks straight. I don't know yet. I'm still, I gotta see it down. Are you on the fence? Hmm. Are you weeding on it? Alright, look good. Let's see, here's the image, center of the image. But it's not the center of the t-shirt. Okay, let me get the other side for it. We can lay it down together. Let's do this together. Fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, there you go. I gotta protect my design. Alright, now I'm putting my gloves on. I don't trust this bleach stuff. <laughs> Gets a little crazy. I think I'm gonna get the heat gun ready. Put the bleach in these little bottles. I'm hoping this gives me a nice mist. So I just mist it. I don't want to get it soaking wet. I don't want it to soak past my stencil. I just want to mist it in the area that doesn't have a stencil. And then I'm going to use the heat gun to try to speed this up a minute. Let me spray right here. Prime the pump. Okay, that seems misty. Alright, that's all I'm doing. Just a couple of misters. And why are you using the heat gun? Oh. Now I'm going to use the heat gun because the heat kind of speeds it up. It activates the bleach. Heat, or heat and light, but I think it's heat. And see it. Stencil. 
and see what it looks like. Maybe I should take my maybe I should take my beach clothes off. Ooh, look at Ooh, that. Look at that. It came out. It came out great. It stayed like stayed right in place. Look at that. Perfect, yeah. I'm surprised how in place that stayed. I thought they, there'd be a lot more bleeding. All right, on to step two. We're going to sublimate the design now. Oh. Didn't you wanna? Oh, hold up. <laughs> Getting a little. Make sure it's dry. Hey, can you touch it, see if it's dry? Yes. Because you don't want to mix bleach and hydrogen peroxide when they're wet, so. Now we're going to use a little bit of hydrogen peroxide to stop the bleaching. It's going to miss the whole thing. And we're going to let this dry now. We'll hit it with the heat gun, but on no heat. And now we're going to sublimate the design down. Here's a little design. We got it print and cut. Here is our nice, perfect, crisp bleach area. I mean, super crisp. You can like, see each of the mountains. It's yeah. so cool. Now we're just going to tape this down using this high heat tape. Tape it into place. Hit-choo. I think it was good till I sneezed. Mm. It's got the pizza box inside still. And we're just going to put a little piece of butcher paper over top. Now we're going in 385 for 60 seconds. feeling about this. Ready? Ready. Ciao! <laughs> I could have lined it up a little bit better, but it came out pretty good. I like it. Are right, you guys ready to see it? Or you want to do yours first? I'll we'll show them at the end. Now nah, you can show them. Voila! What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? I think it's cool. I'm going to wear it. I could have lined it up a little better. I think I should have made this image just a little bit bigger than the, the bleached out area. Uh, well, no, because then even right here you can see a little bit of a line. Yeah. So. Yeah, pretty good though. I like it. Yeah, it'll work. Shirt two, step two. This one's Kim's. Her shirt's just a little bit easier. Yep, I'm using this. Caesar Easy Subly, and it comes with two pieces. There's two components to it. There's a mask sheet and a HTV print sheet. So the HV, HTV print sheet has a shiny side on one side and a little bit of texture on the front side. This is the side you're gonna print on, the dull matte side, not the shiny side. <clears throat> and then the mask sheet is vinyl. You can kind of hear that. It's vinyl and then this piece is throw away. The clear top sheet is what we'll use for mask. So let's go ahead and do our print first. We're gonna do a print then cut. Yep, we're gonna use our Cricut and we're gonna do a print and cut using this as our paper. Now that we have our images printed, I did a two-piecer here. We're going to go ahead and weed that. So I'm gonna weed out everything but the image that I want transferred to my shirt. Now, we did, we read some, watched some videos, read some information. You can peel this right up. If it was one solid piece, you could peel it right up and sublimate it right onto your shirt. But because we have a set of rainbow here, set of rainbows and some words, we're gonna use the transfer tape. Um, I think, I think we can cut it, it like vertically, horizontally. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was going to try to transfer it this way and then pick up that one. What do you think? Uh, you could try. Garrett's going to get creative with it. We have our images on their transfer tape. Next, we're going to take out our shirts. These are 100% cotton, no blend, no nothing, 100% <laughs> genuine cotton. All right, you can do your lineup thing. Okay. Like we're gonna fold it in half and, and stuff. Yeah, and do you think I should set something, insert something on the inside, or you don't think I need to? No, I think this is gonna work like vinyl. All right, I have it folded in half because I'm looking for the center. Doing a quick press there so it'll mark it for me. Now we're going in three, 311 degrees, not 310, not 312. Don't even come at me with 313. It's 311 degrees That's for 15 seconds. Say. It's just 15 quick seconds at Don't even 311. Don't come at me with 313. No. 315, you're way off mark. <laughs> Hey, quick. All right. And this is a warm peel. A warm peel. Ooh. Ooh look at that. Think it's warm? Still a little hot. Still a little hot. <laughs> Still a little hot. All right. I think you're good to go. Ooh, look Ooh, at that. Good. All right, you want to throw your magical on here? Yes. I'll you do the honors. Did you find center? I didn't want to mess with it because you'd be like, are you sure that's center? I know. I think we pressed the line out, right? You know, it's still there. Let's see. All right, let's do it. All right, going back in. 311, 15 seconds. Keep it down low. You don't want it. No, no, down low, because I don't want you up there. Yeah. So, fun fact, the cricket counts by fives. So we're actually doing 310 for 15 seconds. No, it won't go 311? No. <clears throat> counts by fives. Don't even come at me with 310. I'm doing it, I'm 310 in it. You're done. <clears throat> Look at that. I like it. I like it. Look at my cute shirt. Ooh, cool it down. You got to cool it down. <laughs> like a pizza pie. Good <laughs> <Hit you. laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get it dirty. It's gonna hit the floor. It's black. Uh -huh. Alright, ready? Ready. Warm peel. Barely still warm after all that flippity doing. Yeah, it's almost cold. Bam! This was a lot easier. A whole lot quicker. That's nice. And you don't have to worry about lining yours up. Like, I don't see where yours bled across the line. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're two different techniques. They're, you know, one's There's easier one than the other. One's more expensive than the other. Here's the thing with this easy subly. We didn't share this in the beginning. This pack was, I think, $50. So, but it does come with 10 sheets. So you can oh. get 10 sheets. 
Wow, that so. is a little more expensive than mine. My bleach yeah. was like a dollar. I think my hydrogen peroxide was like a dollar. I think the most expensive thing were my sublimation sheets. But yours came out a lot better, I think. Uh, I think I can get it better though. I'll get it better. Yeah, I know you want to do another one. Yeah. He already has a sunset he wants mm, to do. Yeah, I got the sunset that I want to do with some tie-dye inks. Come in, same technique. This was a test. I want to do the same technique with like a retro 1980s Miami Vice kind of <laughs> boom with the palm trees. We'll be doing that next week. Kim's going to go with some kind of leopard cheetah print, maybe some pink tie-dye on it. Yeah. Last step for these shirts is that you do want to wash them. You want to give them 24 hours for this easy subly to kind of set. And then you want to wash them inside out in cold water. Same with mine. You want to, I don't know, just wash it in cold water. You don't want to reactivate the bleach. The sublimation SVGs will be available in our store at kngmakeit.com. Yep, you want your Superman air over the cliffs? <laughs> he, It'll be there. He's got you. Or if you want this, what is it? Magical uh, AF. Magical AF rainbow. It'll be there. We created these. Mine still smells bleachy. A big thanks to our patrons. We love you guys. And we're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And we're back to soft things. There's nothing to, uh... Yep. Unbalance. Unbalance is tricky. <laughs> we're gonna make pizza. pizza oh, yeah. You didn't, yeah, we didn't uh, balance this time. You made pizzas. <sighs> Hold on, let me get one good spin. Did you work at a pizza place? No, nope, never worked at a pizza place. That was pretty good. Yes.